Hey guys, Sean McCauley with Cloud Defensive, and I wanted to introduce you to the MCH Duty. This is the next light in the lineup. It is a different beast, and there are reasons why. Okay, so the first question is gonna be, what are the specs? 1,800 lumens, it's a lot. 50,000 candela, there's a very good reason for that, and we're gonna show you why. It's five mode programmable, so again, you've got single mode only, you've got high into low, low into high, low, medium, high, high, medium, low, set it up however you want it, and it's dual fuel compatible. So if you're in an emergency, drop 123s in it and get right back to work. So, 50,000 candela. I know if there's one criticism or knee-jerk reaction out there on the interwebs, it's going to be, well, it's only 50,000 candela, you know, in a world of 100,000 candela lights. Why did you do that? And the reason is you don't always want maximal candela for every application. And uh, the truth be known, when it comes to handheld, duty light, and hard use type of equipment, excessive candela will essentially rob you of lumens that you want to put into other spaces. We're standing here in an abandoned building. We're gonna show you some, uh, some really good examples of that and why you actually want that. Uh, I think the other thing you really gotta to start to think about here is how much light is actually coming out of the front of this thing. It's a tremendous amount, like my hand's getting hot right now. Uh, 1800 lumens is approximately 500 lumens more than any other, let's just call it duty light available to you on the market. So with this guy, you're getting more usable light that you can put into spaces. Uh, and at 50,000 candela, you can still easily put light 100 yards down range. So it's not like this is hamstringing you in any way. We're just taking some of the light out of the hot spot. Uh, let's say we wanted this to be 100,000 candela. You know, all we did was we just took that light, we dispersed it and we said, hey, we're gonna concentrate a bunch of it and give you 50,000 in the hot spot. And then we're gonna put the rest of it into the spill so that way we can light up a tremendous amount of space. Uh, and when you're doing, again, building searches um, on the duty side of things, or if you're just, if you got property and you need to light up your whole barn, I mean, there's a million use cases for uh, a really st strong, very powerful light that's not necessarily the highest candela you can get, right? Um, the last thing we're gonna do as a company is kind of just, uh, you know, hamstring ourselves and put ourselves in a corner and say, oh, well, we only do high candela. That's not the case. And that's not what you guys want or need. So we're kind of entering an era now where we're gonna be looking at use cases, right? Uh, yeah, there's times for high candela lights, absolutely. Uh, we're huge fans of them, obviously. But at the same time, you don't always want that. And when you start to combine the features of this bad boy, um, you're talking, like I said, 1,800 lumens, uh, the candela being 50,000 like it is, tool steel on the bezel ring, incredibly, incredibly durable. Uh, I will tell you point blank, this is the toughest handheld we've ever made, period. Um, it's not the smallest light we've ever, ever made. Uh, actually, a little impromptu motion here. Here's a 2.0, and here's the duty light. Uh, this is substantially bigger, a little bit heavier, not much, uh, but what you don't wanna do is to try to force every tool into the same role, right? So what you need on the EDC side, we've already got, we've already offered you. Now we're starting to talk about a slightly larger tool uh, that is substantially more durable that you can put into a variety of roles. So uh, it's not just about candela, you have to factor in lumens, and when you start to talk about uh, non-EDC type of lights, you can also start to talk about, well, what's an acceptable size? You know, what kind of ergonomics can be improved, by the way, this is really good ergonomically, uh, once you go outside the box. And so I think the more people see this and the more people see it actually perform out in the real world, uh, I think it's really gonna resonate a tremendous amount. Again, I mean, you're approaching 2,000 lumens. Um, I was actually hoping for 2,000 lumens uh, when we were in development with it. We didn't quite get there, we were close. But 1,800 is a ton. When you have that much lumen output out of such a small light, uh, and it's worth noting, you know, 
when I was growing up, when a lot of us were growing up, it was kind of a, uh, a the, the notion of a duty light was more like a mag light, right? I mean, very large, you know, that ran on uh, D cell batteries. The output was what it was at the time. And people kind of got conditioned to like, hey, this is how big a light has to be. Technology has really improved. I think we all know that. Uh, and I think cloud's definitely at the forefront of it. We've got more power than you've ever had available to you in a package this small. So that's worth noting. And uh, the reason, is again, use-based, right? So if you're in your house and the power goes out, like I'm gonna tell you point blank, I have access to a lot of flashlights. This is the one that's sitting on my nightstand. It just is, it's that damn good. Uh, if I umbrella light my bedroom with this, the whole room just glows, it's just right there. Uh, you can start to talk about, uh, again, lighting up huge spaces. If I need to go downstairs uh, and the power's out or whatnot, uh, I can light up my entire basement just by clicking the button without even the umbrella light. You're just gonna get it, you'll see everything down there. Uh, and again, if I had a high candela tool, I can force it into that role, but that doesn't mean I should. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> what we're really looking for here is to give you the optimal tool for the job. So again, this is where Cloud is, is kind of starting to take an approach of, uh, we're gonna give high candela tools for high candela needs and operations. And then there's other times when you want more administrative lights. I think another thing you should really think about with this guy, uh, this becomes a fantastic administrative tool, uh, especially during, again, emergency situations, uh, changing a tire. That's a great example, by the way. You don't want 100,000 candela hitting your tire from this distance or your lug nuts from this distance, right? You wanna be able to throttle back and diffuse that light a little bit more. Because again, this is an admin task, right? I'm not trying to uh, blind my tire <laughs> or myself in that. So that the candela race that we've kind of created here, it's awesome for a lot of things, but it, we don't want to go so far down that road that we, uh, that we kind of compromise your ability to do some of the things that you need to do. So this is uh, definitely a tool that has been created to address needs that we have not addressed before. And uh, I think once you start to use this as it's intended, and I know a ton of uh, law enforcement guys, a ton of military guys will do it. Again, though, it's not just about the tactical side of this. It's great for that, and that's one of the reasons we made it as durable as we did, but we also made it durable because if you know, you're know you in your basement and you, and you drop the thing, we don't want it to break. Um, hopefully it still works. Yep, she still works. Point being, it's not a situation where we're gonna force high candela down your throats every single time. And I know the internet's a very loud place, say what you will about that, but it's just true. So uh, this gives you a ton of usable light. It's incredibly durable. And I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Real world is just not a gentle place. I think we all know that. And you don't want to be doing a critical task and have to worry about something breaking, right? So we very quickly uh, went and used the S7 tool steel that we used on the Owl. And uh, actually the, the 1.0 rain. Brought that back to life here with this. Uh, super important for a variety of reasons. Uh, from a duty application standpoint, again, rough environments. Um, it's not necessarily designed to be an impact tool, but it's an impact tool, let's be honest. Uh, so, you know, I'm not saying you're gonna be driving nails with it, but we sure, we sure can and we sure have. Uh, I think what you're gonna find is, again, this is the most durable handheld we've ever made by far. So that, that's a pretty cool feature. It's, it's very reassuring to know that. So again, I mean, if this is in uh, by your nightstand, in your glove box, in your tackle box, uh, anywhere else you're gonna put this thing, uh, it's just kind of to hell and back, right? Uh, it, it's definitely gonna serve you well. We also brought back the field serviceable lens feature. That was very, very popular with people. I know it saves you a lot of headaches. And again, for an intended hard use flashlight, super important. So like, why wouldn't we do that? Uh, also, it's worth noting, by the way, the glass is uh, substantially thicker than anybody else's on the market. So while it is possible to break glass, imagine that, this is very, very difficult to break. And when it does, you just unscrew it, you swap it out, you're back in it in maybe 60 seconds, like super fast. That saves you guys, uh, you know, headaches on warranty. It saves us bandwidth internally in our company, let's be honest. Uh, and I think it just makes for a better customer experience. So very, very cool. Uh, and again, that S7 tool steel, it's heat treated to uh, about 51 to 55 Rockwell and then black nitride plated. The duty light ships with our standard pocket clip. Uh, I will say it's not optimized for pocket carry. It was never intended to be that way, but just know that you do have that option. I know a lot of guys will do that. Go, go for it. Uh, 
It also works critically with the Theorem switchback. That was really important to us. We love the guys at Theorem and we know you guys use them a ton. And again, from duty application, yeah, there was no way we were not gonna make it work with that guy. So one other feature here, pretty important to talk about. Uh, if you're an MCH fan, you're, you're probably pretty well versed in it, but the ND protection system that we developed for the original MCH line applies to this guy too, right? So uh, really important feature. I think most all of us have probably <laughs> felt a very hot pocket at some point because you got in your car, you sat down at a restaurant and that, that light you know, engaged unbeknownst to you. Uh, we didn't want that to happen. That's annoying and also it drains your battery. These are pretty critical tools. Uh, so we built that ND protection system into it. So all of these lights ship with actually three different uh, ND protectors. Two of them sit up a little bit uh, taller. They sit a little proud and they actually pre prevent those NDs. The, the third one is actually specific for the Theorem switchback. Uh, so that actually helps you engage that. Okay, so professional time. Law enforcement, military, first responders, firefighters, guys who are gonna find themselves in situations that are unpredictable at best. Uh, this was designed for you guys. When you start to talk about, again, the capability of the light being what it is uh, and the robustness being what it is, it makes for a fantastic tool when it comes to things like building searches, uh, when you're searching um, out in the woods or out in open spaces. Again, having 1800 lumens cast out in front of you, super cool and very, very handy fire departments, uh, 50,000 candela cuts through photonic barriers, smoke and particulate in the air very, very well. And again, will light up an entire room. It's a 5,000 K emitter. So it's not super cold, which is really critical. Uh, when you start to talk about barriers, one thing you'll notice is the colder you move on that side of the spectrum, that more, it almost becomes reflective back at you. So if you're talking about um, anything from steam to fog to smoke, again, particulate in the air, you want a warmer, uh, color to your light just to be able to cut through that. So uh, again, first responders and, and guys that are gonna run into those situations, we were thinking about you too. MCH Duty, it's a hell of a tool. Okay, broke the glass, took a minute. Uh, so yeah, all we're gonna do now, uh, is unscrew your bezel. Be careful if you get a glass break like this, obviously there's fragmentation. Uh, so if you need to dust it off, clean it off, and then you're just going to unscrew it. And glass is going to kind of fall everywhere, that's okay. If you can, it's always nice to retain your bezel, uh, your uh, ceiling overing there. When uh, you get a replacement glass kit from us, we actually give you a new one, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to reuse this one. Uh, and then Demo, I think, wherever he went off to, has replacement glass for me. So if he could bring that over here, we will do this live here. Oh, he ran off. You know, we were just talking about bloopers. So here you go. Uh, I have no idea where the hell the glass went. But we're gonna get it. No pressure, Demo. We're on camera, it's live, happening live. I was pooping. Poop. The duty light. The duty light. See what I did there? All right. So, all you do. Now, uh, I don't know if you can come in tight on that. There is a little bit of fragmentation in there. Uh, if possible, compressed air blows it out in a pinch. Close your eyes, do yourself a favor. Blow it out as best you can. And then all you're going to do is place your O-ring. All right, twist a little bit. Ring on there. Just center it up as best you can. It's actually self-centering, so it's not real hard to do. You set your glass right on top. Again, just as best you can. Preferably get all the shards of glass out of there. And then you're just gonna thread it back on. Tighten it down. You'll feel that O-ring engage. That's when you know you're tight. Just kind of take it down until she bottoms really good. And you're right back in it, just like that. You can finish your job.